اللهم أنت العفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا O oh Allah, you are the forgiver, you love forgiving, so forgive me. This story is so beautiful. Aisha radiallahu anha said, Ya Rasulullah, what should I do when I notice that it is Laylatul Qadr? And the Prophet والسلام, said, Ya Aisha, when you see that it is Laylatul Qadr, then say, O oh Allah, you are the forgiver. You love forgiving, so forgive me. Now, there is a very big difference between Al Afu. والمغفرة. العفو goes beyond مغفرة. مغفرة means that you will be forgiven but you are not sure whether it will be removed from your book of deeds or whether you will have to read it on the day of judgment. But when you ask for العفو, you're not just being forgiven. Allah will allow you to forget your sin and he will remove it from your book. Because some people may be forgiven in this life and they will not be punished. But then when they return to Allah, they have to read. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Iqra kitabak, read your book. Kafa bi nafsika liyawma alayka hasiba. You are sufficient as a witness against yourself today. How would you feel, my friend, when you stand in front of Allah Jalla wa'ala, not knowing whether you will go to hellfire or whether you will go to paradise, and there you are in the midst of Yawm al-Qiyamah, reading all the wrongs you have done. That on its own, that on its own is a punishment. And this is why you ask for af. You don't just want to not be punished. You want it to be erased from your book. So that when you come on the day of judgment, you tell people, "Ha umukara'u kitabiya inni zanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya." Like in the Quran, "Ha umukara'u." Here, see, read my book. I verily knew that I was going to meet this day. So the best thing you can pre- prepare for, the best thing you can do, is to work towards going back to Allah without a single sin. Now you ask yourself, is that possible? It is. The Messenger وسلم, said that some of the people walk over the face of the earth without any sin. They are as pure as the very day that they were created. Who are these people? The Messenger وسلم, said when Allah wants a high level in paradise for someone and he sees that this person doesn't perform a sufficient amount of good deeds in order to get there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pours down the tests of life upon him or her and then he grants him patience so that he will be patient enough to endure these tests so that Allah eventually will give the level in paradise that he wanted for him or for her. This is only possible if you try to get rid of as many sins as you can. So what are you going to do? You are going to say as often as you can, not just during the month of Ramadan, always you beg, you supplicate, you yearn, you ask from Allah Jalla wa Ala, Allahumma, Anta al-Afu. تحب العفو فاعف عنا Oh Allah, you are the forgiver and you love forgiving. So forgive me.